See, it's the love of God that wanted to share his glory. He doesn't need us. He has himself within the Trinity. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit have this perfect relationship. He is infinite. He's not needing anything. He's loving. He's wanting. He's inviting us into enjoying him by bringing us into true worship. A lot of times Christians think that Christianity is about believing true things. It's not. That's not what Christianity is. It's not about believing true things. If you think being a Christian is because you believe true things, I'm sorry. No, that's not it. It's about true worship. Now, you have to, obviously, true worship means believing the right things, but it's not the point to believe the right things. It's to worship. So if, 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 the, if the absolute claims of Jesus are kind of a sting that embarrasses you, that makes you want to adopt some sort of universalism, here's my question. How's your worship life going? <laughs> is that... Does that need to be something that brings glory and beauty, transcendence of the real God into your life more? I think it is. It is for me. That's why I started this podcast called A Bigger Life. It's a way not just for our church service where we worship, but it's a way I go through twice a week, every Tuesday and Thursday, I go through a passage and we worship God through that passage, through true worship. And you can find that podcast on any app, or you can just go to the Crossings app under podcasts and find it. I don't care if you go there or not, except that I think that if you lack true worship in your life, and that's what's causing all this consternation, I think this is a way to fix it. Listen to what Jesus says. It's the true worshipers that the Father seeks. But he doesn't coerce. He invites. And you don't have to come. Will God save everyone? No, because he doesn't force worship of himself on everyone. Only those who want. If to, if to save is to restore to right worship, then no, he, he won't. He won't force, he won't coerce worship on anyone. He lets you choose. Now, I don't know. I don't know what all the, you know, I don't know who is going to be saved and who's not when it comes to what they know and what they don't know and how much they worship and how much they believe. Those are questions that only God knows. I do know this. It's one thing to have not heard. What's God going to do about those who haven't heard? I don't know. It's another to hear and reject the true God. That I do know.